Hi Maplers! Our newest Class Forest Child Len was released in the V250 update. I'm here today with Bean Brigade member Aetherius to go over how to navigate Lin. Hi everyone, I'm Aetherius and I can't wait to share what I've learned about this adorable new class. Let's get started. Lin is a magician who uses the power of the forest to use healing skills and summon spirit guides to help her defeat her enemies. Her trusty spirit guides, Pan, Penny, and Payon, provide her with damage buffs and each have unique abilities to help Lin defeat her enemies. Lin's first spirit guide that she starts out with is Pan. At second job advancement, she learns Penny, and at third job advancement, she gets Payon. Lin's Link skill provides 10% boss damage, 10% crit rate, 5% max HP, and 5% max MP. Her Legion block at level 250 is in the shape of a plus sign and gives 6% ignore defense. Lin has great mobility. In addition to using an up jump and flash jump with Light Leap, one of her second job skills, Sweep, allows her to dash diagonally up, down, or horizontally. If you don't have that link skill already, I highly recommend getting it since it'll be a huge boost to your stats. She's already sounding like a great class, but wait until we get into why she's such an amazing support. Lin has numerous support skills, but let's start with her focus skills. She has a focus skill that allows her to designate a target for her skills, so she can heal, shield, or teleport to that target. If she doesn't designate a target, the target will be herself. Let's go through her various focus skills. First, Focus Heal heals 20% of the target's HP every second for 40 seconds. After applying the fourth drop skill, Heal is 30% and also provides attack and magic attack power. Next, her Focus Force Protection Hyper Skill can create a productive barrier that reduces all party members' damage taken by 30% and also protects them from a KO. Focus Awaken gives plus 30% final damage for Lin and 10% final damage for the focal target, which scales based on how much int Lin has. Lastly, Focus Support Flight can teleport yourself to the focal target's location and vice versa. This is great if you're helping less experienced friends in bossing or that one guild member who always forgets to dodge a mechanic. Lin also has various party skills that can help your team survive in boss runs. Purify will cleanse all nearby members of ailments for 20 seconds. In addition to Purify, Mother Nature's Touch removes all ailments from party members on the same map and instantly recovers 100% of their HP, while also providing continuous healing of 10% HP for every second for 30 seconds. As if she doesn't have enough healing skills already, you can also use Nature's Grace, which immediately restores 200% of max HP to all party members. The healing that exceeds the usual 100% becomes a shield. This is definitely one of those skills that you want to use in emergency situations. As for other party skills that provide extra damage, Nature's Providence provides 30% ignored defense to all party members, and Predator's Blow debuffs the enemy and the enemy will take additional 10% damage for 40 seconds. Lin has an abundance of support skills that make her an extremely viable member of your bossing party. Now let's move on to her damage skills. Using any of her spirit guide skills will give her a final damage buff, with there being a separate buff for each spirit guide. These are buffs you will need to upkeep throughout a fight for optimal damage. Each buff stacks up to 3 times and is easy to maintain since Penny and Payon have toggles that automatically attack mobs and your main attacking skill is using Pan. I would consider Lin to be a 2 minute burst class with decent DPM. She has a high crit rate coming in at 85% from innate skills. Lin's main attacking skill is Pan using Strike which has a big attack range. In addition to Penny and Payon who attack automatically with a toggle, she has two map attacks, Roar and Raid. They both have a cooldown of 30 seconds each. She also has a summon called Earth Pulverization where Pan slams the ground to deal damage and creates a burning fissure. The fissure will deal continuous damage for 30 seconds. Some of her mobility attacks do damage as well. Lin's Whirlwind skill, which swoops you backwards, can deal damage to up to 12 enemies. Her Sweep skill, which zooms you left, right, or diagonally, has 5 charges with each one charging after 5 seconds and can deal damage to up to 5 enemies. As for Lin's Origin skill, Source Flow draws power from Nature's Source which allows Lin and her spirit guides to become enlightened. At level 30, the skill receives an additional 30% ignore enemy defense and 30% boss damage. Like other origin skills, it's an absolute bind and an iframe which means Lin will be invincible for a few seconds while casting. 
So, Atheris, what do you think about Lin? Well, so far, I think she's a really strong support. I'm pretty excited to see how she shakes up bossing, especially with her teleport ability that's unique to her. Uh, as someone who gets lost in the sauce during bossing runs, I hope my support Lin will use that teleport on me to get me out of sticky situations. Anyways, that's it for our beginner's guide to Lin. Thanks, Atheris, for being here with us today. Thank you so much for having me. I will catch you in the V250 update.